This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting episode of our 100 day challenge. So as you can see, I was a little bit busy. Uh, we are on day 62. Well, day 62 is almost over. Uh, but yeah, we are on day 62. It didn't take me too long to knock this out. Luckily, the trees are rather packed over there, which is nice for when you're lumberjacking because they fell really quick and easy. Um, so I just leveled this out as you can see here. I spammed workbenches all over the place to give us a nice wide area over here. If we uh, jump up here and take a look over here, you can see they're all the way over there as well. So yeah, and then I just made this whole thing a massive field and we're just going to get to mass producing barley and flax as much as possible. One thing we do need to do, however, is we need to work on some better food because I don't want to go fighting Yagi Boy with the food that we have here. I need better food. And in order to do that, we're going to have to take down some locks. So I don't think I have enough arrows for that. Let me run back to the house real quick, grab some more arrows. All right, well, I just grabbed all the arrows that I have. I guess we'll start with the fire arrows. This is gonna take a little while, but eh, it's fine. I don't even know if what I have planned here is going to work. So my idea is to kite them over to there and hopefully that puts enough between us and, and them. And I don't know, we'll see. I'm just gonna light him on fire like so and kite him on over here. Are you gonna kite? Oh, well, this may be easier than I expected. Don't attack the wall. Do you stay away from the wall? Uh, he seems derpy and confused by the fire. No, kite over here. Over here. Do you want to fight? What are you? Are you broke? So does fire just break them? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, so it looks like <laughs> looks like fire confused him a little bit there. He wasn't sure exactly what to do. I mean, that worked out to our advantage, but you know, uh, yeah. What does he do now? Will he run now? Yeah, so this, this technique's gonna work well. He sees that he can't get to me. The run mechanic breaks, kicks in. It's so easy to break stuff in games when you can manipulate areas of the map or whatever in a way that things cannot get to you. Because even if they have a run mechanic, you can exploit that unless they do something where they just run and never come back. But unfortunately, in this setup here with this game, they don't do that. They, they run and then turn around and come right back. They don't just run away and disappear. So it's easily exploitable. Okay, there we go. We got a bunch of locks goodness there. Exactly what we needed. Uh, we're gonna fight this through the night here. Do I have any, uh, I should probably put up, hold up. I think I got enough stuff. If we, uh, I'm just gonna collect all these random goodies that are around here. And we're gonna run back over here. I think I can drop down a few torches. As you can see, I want torch happy because I get tired of trying to correct for it being dark. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, we got some stuff for some torchy goodness here. Let's just do that. And then we can run back over here and I'll drop a few torches down around the area. As you can see, I don't have a gate. The only way in is that way over there. No gate, nowhere. Uh, we don't need no gates. So, uh, oh crap, I do need a workbench. Okay, so we'll place the workbench and then, I don't know if these are gonna get destroyed. Well, I guess I can place them up here and they won't get destroyed and that'll provide some lighting. Yeah, that should work, right? Uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I can also fire arrows and the locks is going to be on fire. So you'll be able to see him there. Oh, this one's coming straight for me. This one is not derpy like the other one. This one's like, hey bro, you're going down. Did you just light me on fire? And I'm like, yeah, bro, I let you on fire, but you're dumb and you're going to run away every time you think you can't get to me. And I'm just going to yo-yo you back and forth until I eventually kill you and uh, your AI is easily broken. Oh, he's running, running now. Hey, did you derp? Did you derpy derp? Maybe, maybe a little derpy derp. Yeah, smash the ground. That's going to do you a lot of good. Oh, we need to make sure we have enough to jump up. All right, we're good. Well, I mean, at least I'm getting use out of all these stupid fire arrows that I made. That's a bonus. And they don't have too crazy HP. I mean, they got a little bit, but it's nothing, it's nothing wild. 
not like a tier two or a two star. Oh, oh, is this gonna hurt? Oh, no, great, thanks, thanks. I just put that there. Uh, it's nothing like a two, -tier, or two, two star goblin. I'll spit it out at some point. Hey, come back, I'm lighting you on fire, bro, come back. Yeah, 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 there you go, there you go, there you go, come on, come on. I mean, honestly, we could probably, oh, oh, just kite him relatively easy. We probably don't need to do all this, but I feel safer doing this. Uh, missing requirement. Do we not, uh, let's see, we can place that. Then do we have enough to place another one? No, we do not. I'm going to need to get some more wood. Eh, it's fine. It's fine. You guys, you guys can see what's going on there. I'll lighten it up a little bit. Okay, so we have one more locks buddy over there. Uh, we're going to have to run over there and grab him. I'll grab some wood while we're doing this. There's a, they went on a killing spree too. There was a bunch of gray dwarfs everywhere. And uh, it was a gray dwarf locks battle of the ages. It was good times to watch. Hey, look, more idiots are back. Hey, 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 you're dumb. Did you just hit me? Did you just hit me? You don't get to hit me. Neither do you. So, like, I was worried at first. Like, I was like, should I put a bunch of torches around here? And then I was thought to myself, you know, it, it doesn't really matter because there's so much idiots that just come out every night that who cares? Okay, you, you're all gonna die. Yeah, you're dead. What just killed me? Oh, did I just take a spear to the face from somewhere? I think I may have. I heard a bit of a chuckle there. The thing is, they can sneak up on you far too easy because they don't always laugh. So you don't hear them and then they just come out of nowhere and then you're just dead. I mean, if I had a little bit better armor, it wouldn't, that wouldn't be the case. But as I keep telling people in the comments when they tell me to get better armor, I don't have time for that. It's day 62 already. I don't have time to go try to farm for better armor. That stuff takes days. Um, I don't want to eat any of that. Uh, we're just going to run over there. I don't have any food made, so I'm just going to run over here and try to grab my body. I don't know where, where that came from. I heard a bit of a laugh. It's fine. We can, no, grab stuff. No, oh my God. Get rid of that stuff. Look at this idiot coming over here. Oh my God, really? Get rid of this trash. Okay, grab this. Yep, there we go, fantastic. And now we can just run back over here and jump into our base and we should be fine. All right, we're great, we're great, we're perfect. All right, let's eat. Let's equip all of our stuff. I have no idea where that idiot that killed me came from, but I definitely want to get my vengeance. We're going to have to empty some of the stuff out of our inventory here too. Okay, where is that idiot that killed me? Did he just despawn? I'm going to... Is that him? Nope. Uh, I don't see him anywhere. I'm surprised he was able to... Well, I guess stuff spawning from way out and then working its way over here. Is he in here? I really want to pick those berries, but I don't really need them, so I'm not going to. I do want to gather up all this stuff that was dropped, though, because that's easy free resources, and I want it. Where did that stupid falling go? I hate when I don't get to get my vengeance. Fine, whatever. We're going back to Locke's murdering. Oh, we're on poison arrows, apparently. No, I don't want poison arrows. I want fire arrows. There we go. That's what we want. Hey, bro, you on fire? You on fire? Does it suck? Is it bad? Oh, yeah, you are. It's terrible. They just, they're so derp. Look at him. He's just so derp. Oh, swinging a miss. All right, let's go up here and regen a little stamina. I really want to kill that. Oh, is that him? Oh, where did you come from? Yeah, 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 you're gonna die. You're definitely going to die. You can't hit me, because you suck. I just need some stamina. And then you're dead. Stay still? Stay still. Yeah, get you some of that. You craptastic little freaking goblin. I get my vengeance. Yeah, yeah, what do you think about that? What do you think? You can't do anything because you're frozen like a punk. All right, back to killing the locks. 
He just gave up. He was like, ah, I'm just, I'm done. I know I was on fire for a little bit, but eh, whatever. Come on. Come on. Nope. And run away. So cheesy and so broken. I mean, it doesn't matter either way. It's so easy. Like, what, what is, is kiting cheesing? Like, that's the thing. Like, what is cheesing? I'm kiting him. He can't touch me. I can infinitely walk backwards and shoot him. How is that any different than just doing this? <sighs> Not my torch. That's fine. He's going to die. Um, oh, why did I? Okay, no. Stop swapping to those arrows. I was going to say, you can throw these on the ground like that to make a light source on the ground. It's kind of handy. Anyway, okay. Now we have a little bit of locks meat. Um, what am I full of? Why can't I pick anything up? Oh, apparently we're full of stone. Um, let's just chuck that for now so I can pick the rest of this up. We'll come back for that in a minute. Oh, I hear a death mosquito. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Let me through the portal. I can't get through the portal because I have this. I'm not ready to fight him yet. Where did he go? Where did he go? I lost him. Did he die? Oh, there he is. There he is. Portal. Haha, ha, death Skeeto. I wonder if he's going to, he's going to be there as soon as I get back. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. I'll just make sure we have good, uh, good HP. Okay. So I need to sort some of this stuff and then we'll head back over there. Well, we're on day 63. That's fun times. And I also need to extend my storage a little bit here. So I'm going to work on that real quick. Well, let's head back over there and see if we instantly die to a death mosquito or not. I mean, we have 127 HP. We should be all right. We should be able to take one hit. Where is it? Where is it? I heard it when I was coming through the portal. Is it stuck inside? No. Did he damage anything? No. Okay, so apparently he just disappeared. Okay, that's great. All right, so let's go back over. I want to get that stone too because, you know, greedy, hoarder. Oh, there he is. There he is. All right, here we go. Here we go. So people were also commenting in the last video that I can block them. I'm really, really bad at telegraphing their attacks because they don't really have any. I mean, they come in for for a swoop and, the, and then it's like, at what point are they actually damaging you? And I'm just really bad at timing the attacks. That's why I don't even try and I just hold down block. Other things, it's easier for me. I don't know why I have so much problem with them, but I just do. That's that's why I don't. But, you know, we're all different. We all have our own style of playing that that fits us, and that's just how I go about killing them. Another thing somebody suggested was uh, using the, the pole arm. Um, the problem is, is I feel like because it's it's such a small area you have to time it just right and uh, it's much easier for me this just is what works for me peeps i i don't know what to tell you hold down block wait till they attack then hit them or time it right when they're coming in at you which is also a little bit easier for me to do but i have a really hard time parrying them unlike a bunch of other things where it's much easier to know when they are swinging and all that good stuff anyway uh, there's a, there's another camp over here and I want to go clear it out. Uh, we need to empty our inventory and then we'll go clear it out. I thought I saw, Ooh, cloud berries. We're going to grab those. So I thought I saw the camp right over this way. I think it was on the other side of the altar here. Maybe, maybe not right around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there it is. I knew I wasn't crazy. I mean, I am crazy, but I knew I saw a camp over here. Okay, so I just saw a mosquito, so we're going to swap to those arrows there. I also need to pick a bunch of cloud berries. We also need to get on the... Oh, God! Hey, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, uh, we also need to get on the um, blood pudding. That's another one I need to work on. I need to farm a couple of leeches and some blood bags. Where did that... Okay, there he is. Come, come back! Dang it. He didn't even stun me. I just missed hitting him. Come on! Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now, let's try this again. Anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, yeah, blood pudding. We're definitely going to need blood pudding and um, bread and um, the lox meat pie. Should be pretty good. We got a dude right there. Uh, let's see. Let's 
This looks like good spot as any to, to set up our little thingy. All right, I have our little uh, setup here built. I dug this one down just a little deeper than I did the other one. I don't know if we're going to be at head height for these guys or not. Ideally, we want to go down to level with this and we can actually hit them through it. Uh, you know what? Let's give it a try. It is a little iffy, though, because uh, at times those big guys can clip through here and hit you. Most of the time they don't, but they can on occasion. But if you just like get to the other side, so if they're over here and attacking and you come over here, you should be fine. Uh, all right, let's dig one more. And that should put us level. Yeah, now we should be able to attack them through it. That looks level. Yeah, yeah, I think that's level. Okay, so let's go over here and say hi to the natives. Let's see if we can, uh, let's make sure. That's kind of hard to see. I want to make sure there's no mages around here. I think that might be one over there in the distance. It's kind of hard to tell on the other side of that little uh, hut there. Grab up all of this. Hey, buddies. How's it going? Anybody else? Anybody else want to join the fight? Just the two of you? Just you two? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, easy there, killer. All right, so now we're just going to run over to here and wait until they all get over here. Oh, some of them just said nope. Okay, that's fine. The big guy and the... Oh, okay, the big guy is the main one that I want here. Oh, it makes me so nervous every time he does it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, the downside if you do this is it's harder to hit them with the bow. You can't just shoot you have to kind of get on the edge there or get out you're slow oh no you don't now he's gonna come back over oh nope nope he's decided let's let's shoot him with some of these fire arrows hey hey you want to burn for a little bit you want to burn for a yeah you do yeah you do all right well this is gonna take me a little while to do so cue up the montage Okay, so I came back to the house and I was doing a little bit of uh, base stuff trying to get some more arrows and it looks like we have a certling attack which that's fun I don't even know where they're okay it looks like there's a bunch over there actually this is good because I needed cores anyway I don't know why I'm trying to jump this when I have a freaking door right here all right, yeah, smell of sulfur in the air. That's what I'm talking about. That's it. Oh, look. Oh, thanks for doing my dirty work for me there. Oh, it would help if I actually... Yeah, there we go. That's... Nope. Stamina? Stam... Oh, my God. Stamina. More stamina? Okay. All right. Come on. This is stupid. Get out of here. God, just die, stupid thing. All right, where's the rest of the Sirtlings? Yeah, they're just in there having a good old field day. Yep, swing and a miss there, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. This is our first event in this, <laughs> since we started playing. This is our, our very first event is a Sirtling event. Yeah. Give me the, did we get any core? We got two cores. Nice. Nice. All right. Give me some more. Give me some more. Oh, I should probably get back in the, the area here so they continue to spawn. Yeah, here we go. Here's another one. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Did you drop anything? You dropped nothing. We're still only at two. Yeah, get you some of that mace action. Oh, we got another one right here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to club you. 
Did you? Okay, we're up to four. That's nice. Okay, let's get back in the the area here. Oh, here we got another one over here. Don't you even think about it. I know what you're thinking about doing. Don't you do it. Yeah, you can hit me all you want. I don't care. You're a dumb little certling. All right, let's uh, put ourselves out. Is that it? That was it. Well, uh, we got four cores out of that, so that's two more portals. That was super handy. That was absolutely perfect timing. I'm going to go back to uh, doing what I was doing over here at the base, and then we're going to continue up that montage over there, killing the, the, the dudes. All right, it's the morning of day 64. We're going to head back over here. I'm going to continue to try to clear out this camp over here. I just about got it cleared out. I gotta find some more of these totems and fast. I mean, we're running low on time really quickly here. It's already day 64, and I still didn't, don't even have any idea where the rest of these freaking totems are gonna be, or of like, I don't even know if I'm wasting time in this village. I guess we could just run through the village. You know what, let's do that. Let's just run through it. Let's get our stamina up. We have our rested buff. We're just gonna run through it. If there's nothing in here, I'm gonna stop because I got a bunch of black metal. I don't know if I'm gonna need any more. I don't think I'm going to need any more, but I know I may be wasting my time with this village and uh, that's not something we need to be doing right now. I need to find more of the totems. So um, I don't see any mages, so I think we'll be relatively all, all right. It looks like it extends over there into the swamp. My main concern, well, we got plenty of HP is the, the spear dudes, but I think we're all right here. We got skeleton fight over here. Bunch of mate. Oh man, this is a, this is jam packed over here. Yeah, I don't see any totems. So we're wasting our time clearing this. I'll come back over here if I need more black metal, but right now I do not. So what we're going to do, we're just going to run back over here, jump inside of our little thing and they should all break aggro. Okay, there we go. They've all broken aggro. Okay, so I guess we need to check over that way. Let's just run over here and see what we can find. Well, I went around here, went up over the mountain, as you can see, and now we're over here. And of course, it's foggy and I can't see anything. And I have no idea if a Deskito is going to sneak up on me. I think what I'm going to do is just make a run straight back to the house. Because I can't see anything anyway, If I, even if there was a structure in the distance that we're looking for. Um, I'm not sure... What to do? I think what we're gonna have to do is go get the boat, get the black metal back to the house, upgrade our weapons, and um, then from that point, probably just sail around. Wait, what is that? Is that a structure? Yeah, it is. Is that the same one? Oh crap, yeah, see, this is the problem. This, this is the problem right here. Come on, come at me. All right, let's just take a little peek here. I can't see anything. Yeah, this fog is ridiculous. This game, everything this game does is designed to freaking slow you down. All right, I'm gonna put a marker here and then uh, we'll just come back for it later. I'm going back to the house. Well, at least that trip wasn't a complete bust because we did get a little bit more obsidian. We got a nice chunk of obsidian now and I did harvest a bunch more cloud berries. Where's my other ones? Okay, we're gonna put all those up here with the lox meat. I do need to go farm some more loxes though because we don't have nearly enough lox meat. And um, yeah, we got two more of the, of these things here, the freeze glands, which is nice. So we can keep making the frost arrows, but we do need to get that black metal back to the house. And I also need to make the, where is it at? Crafting this. So we need some iron nails for that in 25. Yeah, we have all that crap. That's that's easy to do. We do need to get that going so we can start turning that flax into the the 
stuff to make the next tier armor. Those totems, I think, are going to be what absolutely kills us here. So we know that there's planes through here. The plane stops right here. I took a look here, so it comes up around this way, and then this right here is all dark forced. I don't know where there's any other planes at. We know this is swamp right along here, swamp here. Actually, I think there may have been planes over here. I know there's a mountain over here, but maybe something tells me I saw planes in the distance. Because just because you see it doesn't mean it's going to be open on the map. And when I was standing over here, I saw I could see over to here. So there's a mountain over here. Maybe there's some more planes over here. We also have planes down and around this way here that we need to check out and i think it wraps up and over around this way and there's a small mountain here so we can check up in and around here as well but i mean we need four more of those things and we're on uh i think it was day 64 well the night of day 64 we might not make it just due to the fact that we can't find those totems a lot of people keep commenting that the game is super easy and it's easily doable in 100 days but it's not. Even if you know the map relatively well, just because there were totems in a spot before doesn't mean that they're, they're going to be in that same spot the next time because the locations of the, for example, the goblin camps and stuff like that are always the same, but the camps themselves are randomized and it doesn't matter if it's the same seed or not. The seed just guarantees that those camps will be in that location. So you're not guaranteed that just because one run with that seed had a totem in it that it's going to have that totem in it the next time you run with that same seed. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up there. I think this is a good wrapping up point. Uh, we got a game plan for next episode. We're going to get that black metal over here and we're going to get to crafting up some of that as well as getting the flax weave, whatever it is, the, the thread production online as well. All right. I want to give a massive thank you to my supporters on Patreon for making this episode possible. Y'all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.